Well, the U.S. military successfully test launched an intercontinental ballistic missile from California Wednesday, just days after North Korea's second test of an ICBM. CBN's national security correspondent Eric Rosales takes a closer look at the conflict and the new approach the U.S. is taking, trying to get Kim Jong-un to the table. Early Wednesday morning, the United States sent a strong message to North Korea and its leader Kim Jong-un. An unarmed Minuteman III missile was launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base about 130 miles northwest of Los Angeles. An Air Force statement said that the test was not in response to the recent actions by North Korea, but shows that America's nuclear enterprise is, quote, safe, secure, effective, and ready to be able to deter, detect, and defend against attacks on the United States and its allies. Last week, North Korea tested an ICBM for the second time. The missile flew for 45 minutes and traveled more than 2,300 miles into space. Analysts said the missile could have reached cities like Los Angeles and Chicago. In a disturbing development, the missile came down right in the middle of busy commercial airspace. Flight data shows an Air France 777 jetliner with 323 people on board was traveling from Tokyo to Paris and past the area. Ten minutes later, the North Korean missile came down on the plane's direct flight path. The crew of this plane had no idea that they were in danger because the missile was coming in from outer space. And what if this missile had broken up at altitude and scattered pieces all around? It would have made it even more dangerous. The Pentagon has said North Korea's missile launches are done with no coordination and are reckless. Meanwhile, the United States, through the State Department, has taken a softer approach with North Korea telling the cloaked country and its leader that the United States is not your enemy. We do not seek a regime change. We do not seek the collapse of the regime. We do not seek an accelerated reunification of the peninsula. We do not seek an excuse <clears throat> to send our military north of the 38th parallel. However, in the same breath, Secretary Tillerson said the United States still requires North Korea to end its missile and nuclear program. And although he said the U.S. seeks dialogue with the North, he added that, quote, our other options are not attractive. Later this week, Secretary Tillerson plans to head to Asia for a security meeting. It's expected to be attended by diplomats from North Korea, Japan, South Korea and China. It could be an opportune moment for a diplomatic breakthrough. Eric Rosales, CBN News, Washington.